purchased Pete, uh, Miss Page's contract. She's now a member of our gym. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. You have a nice place here. Oh, we're all just members of one big happy family. So the saying goes. I have a suggestion, Miss Page. Why don't you change to gym togs and spend a few minutes getting acquainted with our gym? But, Mr. Scully, I have no gym togs with me. I'm sure Ruby can help. Why, yes. I'm sure we can borrow something out of the locker room. I'll be glad to help. Why don't you, Peaches? I mean, Miss Page. Okay, if you say so, Scully. Follow me, Peaches. chest. Mr. Biggs got an idea. You've been bucketing a lot of dough. Yeah, you sure are kicking in. Ah, bucketed nothing. We got a way of finding things out, see? What does Mr. Biggs figure he's got coming? Thirty-five grand. And he wants it now. Mr. Big ain't a patient man, Scally. Well, I haven't got that much right now. You don't seem to like him. He's just plain no good, if you ask me. He's the sort of a guy that would change a girl's evening stroll from a recreation to an occupation. But he wants me to be his girl. His girl is a lot of girls. And you happen to be only one of them. But take my advice. I never saw any good come out of him, and I never will. You needn't deny anything. Monk has clearly shown me every detail. Monk. It surprises you? You mean you believe him? Yeah. Nothing but a sore rat. You forget, Monk is working for me and has been for a long time. He's been checking on you and shadowing you for the past few weeks. I may be a sucker, but I can see you and Monk are made of the same filth. Oh! 